What's happening, guys? Uh, my name is Bharat Nagpal, and in our third edition of Let's Talk Shop, we're sitting here in Micromax's office, and here with uh, a slightly old friend of mine, <laughs> not in terms of age, he's very young at heart as well. Uh, I'm sitting here with Shubhadeep, he's the CMO for Micromax in India, and he's going to be talking about Micromax and what they have become in these years. So, hi Shubha, are you ready to talk shop? Yes, I'm ready to talk shop, Bharat. Thank you for having me uh, on awesome. your show. First of all, let's talk about these new products. So you have two Windows phones, which is like a Windows Phone 8 device is a first for Micromax. Right. And then you have this new gold colored canvas gold. Yeah. Canvas gold, that's right. Yeah. So how did Micromax decide to come back into Windows Phone and why? We want the consumer to choose their operating system and not force any operating systems to them. So having the Android and the Windows made sense for us to complete our entire portfolio. And going forward, if there's another operating system which is independent and if you need to break that on and give that benefit to the consumer, we will do it because we are Micromax. Okay, awesome. Uh, seems like you rehearsed it a little bit. Not, not really. This is just extempo. <laughs> Does it sound very natural? Uh, so what about this, uh, this guy, the Canvas Gold? It's your first gold phone, isn't it? That's right. It's our first champagne colored phone. Uh, again, if you start looking at the products, Parath, and you've been following us quite closely, the last 19 months, in fact, almost two years of my, my existence here in Micromax, what we firmly believe in the fact is to get some good quality, great form factor products as well as the software to it. So after we launched the Canvas 2 way back in December 2012, right. uh, since then we've got Canvas HD, Canvas 4, Canvas Turbo, Canvas Turbo Mini, and then Night. Gold, right. the Gold Night. In fact, Night, you, thank you for the review. You did a brilliant review. In fact, all of you guys were, were and we were very proud to bring that phone across, uh, and um, and all of you actually gave us a lot of, in fact, big thumbs up for it, and thank you for it. And now the next one is the Canvas Gold, uh, and we've got a phenomenal response already, uh, and I, I guess. These platforms like what you have actually give us that impetus. It's, it far, works far better than what a regular advertising would do. And I had definitely leveraged PR as a great marketing tool, so that helped me a lot. So the Canvas Gold is a great 5.5 inch screen. Uh, it's got a nice champagne color. Uh, the processor is brilliant. Uh, it's on, it'll be on the new KitKat and so on and so forth. So we're assuming that by the end of, of September, we'll have a lot of such devices which you will see, okay. uh, including the Windows and, and, the, and the Canvas Gold. And there'll be a few other devices. I can't name them today. But again, uh, the way you guys handle, you will get a heads up much before the world does. And that's when uh, you will tell me more and give us more thumbs up and hopefully uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take our things forward. So it's all thumbs up from here, huh? Thank God, yeah, it's all thumbs up. Okay, so uh, like you've come out with two Windows phones. So you're gonna be working alongside Microsoft uh, going forward and you're gonna be making more products. So this is something that is not a one-off for you guys? Not at all. In fact, the Windows portfolio will be strengthened further as, in, as, in, as in we go along. Okay. Uh, you'll see a four inch, a five inch, you'll see and maybe uh, I'm preempting this, it's off the record, but not off the record, you can put it on record, I don't care. Uh, we'll also have a 6 inch going forward, so that's, that's, where, so that's where our screen sizes come in and obviously you will see a lot of amalgamation because at the end of the day, if the, if the platforms are similar like we saw in the Android world, uh, Micromax always comes up with something different in, terms of, in, some, in form of a, say a crack, which we call for the phone, could be software embellishments and so on and so forth. So you'll see a similar thing in Windows and, um, and that'll be a great changer for us because at the end of the day, uh, we all are working on the same platform, but you definitely need something which is different for the consumer. Okay, so uh, I mean, we've, we've seen a lot of products from you guys since the Canvas series started. And I think it's one of your best-selling series. I think it is the best-selling series for you guys in terms of smartphones. Um, when will we see a product, or if, is the question, when will we see a product which competes with the so-called flagships of the world? So the HTC Ones and the Samsung Galaxy S5s, Xperia Z2s. I mean, uh, for example, if, if you talk about Samsung products, uh, they have this design that they follow. If you talk about Sony, they have this waterproof uh, design that they follow. The HTC One has a metal build. Uh, are, why can't or why haven't we seen uh, Micromax come and give us a product which says that, okay, this camera can do 40 megapixel or this phone is waterproof or, you know, I've seen a phone that has everything. Right? Like, so the Canvas Gold has a great screen, it has a great uh, processor and for that price bracket, it gives you a, a bunch of things that right. fit into that. So why haven't we seen something which sort of steps out and says, okay, I am good because I'm a waterproof phone or I am good because I have a slightly better camera than the rest of the world. Right. Why isn't Micromax focusing on... Uh, see, what we've done, Bharat, is that for the last, uh, you know, almost like almost two years from the time I've been here, we didn't have a definite roadmap. So like now with with the, with the founders, they've, they've understood the, uh, you know, the value professionals can bring to the organization. So what, we have, what we're trying to do is just to actually define a roadmap which is important. So the first barrier which we needed to break was the price barrier, right? right. Uh, people always perceive, in fact, just to give you a good uh, example, when I did a research way back in, um, in October 2012, you know, the, the word cloud for Micromax was DC, Chinese, trading, 
not for me, why, you know, all the sort of stuff. In fact, the research which we did exactly in, 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 in one year's time, in October 2014, uh, uh, sorry, 13, uh, the word cloud suddenly changed. Number two, huge Ackman, premium, for me, great product, affordable, so on and so forth. So the brand perception has changed, has changed tremendously and that's what's giving us the advantage today. So if we started off with, with the right product, with the right uh, segmentation, the right price points and so on and so forth, we're there. Now we're going to move the, the, the so-called gear to another level, like you rightly said. So, and I don't know whether you have an insider working in Micromax, looks like it, but yes, soon you will see. You are my insider. Yeah, okay, I'm insider. <laughs> soon you will see, soon you will see these uh, products coming out very soon. I'm not, when, I, when I say soon, I mean as early as September. Okay. You will see these game-changing products, which are very different. And, um, and in fact, some of them will be, will be first as well. Okay. Be it the form factor, be it the, the, the so-called material we use in the form factor and so on, so, so on and so forth. I know you have this mind on it, right? So, so that's, that's, you will get to know very soon about it. Perfect. For uh, Micromax mugs, by the way, very impressive. Nice. Um, uh, we need to do a little branding elements to get things going. You should. Brand perception is very important. Uh, Micromax has been focusing on brand perception for a very long time. A lot of people are saying it and even I've noticed that service has become slightly problematic for Micromax. Why is it so? Because I remember at the time of A60 is when I first met the brand. Yeah. And at that time, the service was at a good place. And Absolutely. with the A70, we were offering replacements and things like that. Today, we see a lot of negative chatter around service. Why is that happening? I, I completely agree, Brad. I mean, it's, it's not it's not a services problem. It's, I think, it's our entire, entire organization problem. Uh, reason being that our hockey stick in terms of a sale has gone up so tremendously. Uh, from, I'm talking about 2012 when the average run rate was 1.1 to 1.2 million handsets a month. But today we're almost averaging close to 3 million handsets a month. So therefore, again, it's our fault. It's our management problem. We're correcting it right now as we speak. We're trying to ensure that we come to the, we match the curve of, of sales with service. So even if it's 2% or 3 million, it's a huge number. The call rates are almost like close to 10 to 12,000 you know, a day and that makes a lot of difference and most of the calls are generally pertaining to software issues or things that are not, not, not manufacturing defects and that's what creates a problem. So, so what we're trying to do as, as a, and even a task is I'm happy to say this first on your, on your show because in, in exactly one week from now you'll hear a promise coming out of Micromax. Again, promise where M stands for the MI punch. It's a whole internal program we've raised. We had a big conference in Jaipur last month where we had about 150 franchises all in the most important ones which contribute to almost 65% of our business and they've all pledged to the oath of, of following a certain pattern and SOPs for service. Mm -hmm. You'll see a huge change, in fact Accenture again is helping us with that, there's a formal team which has come out from there and so you'll see a big change in service. So it's so we completely agree to it, it's, 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 our, it's, our, it's, it's our mistake but we're not, it's not that we're not, you know, uh, we're not looking or taking care of it, we completely believe in that because at the end of the day if, if you are my, if you believe in Micromax this month, say with the Windows phone, and if I launch another version of Windows phone, say in December, and you're happy to change the phone, I need to ensure that you're there, there in my consideration set. And that can only happen when my service is right. And that, that's a great thing about Indian brands and MNC brands, which, and having worked in HP and Samsung before, I completely understand the need of service and how brand perceptions can be created with service. And uh, I'm sorry for what's happened so till date, but uh, uh, believe, believe you me, uh, in the next six months, with a new management chain, with Sanjay Kapoor here, with Vineet Taneja joining us very soon, you will see this huge change in focus, especially for service. Okay, that's impressive. Uh, let's see, let's hope that we see a good change in service and uh, a lot of positive chatter coming back to you guys, I guess. I'm, I'm my fingers across. <laughs> that's great. Um, you, you spoke about uh, software being the major issue. Uh, why has Micromax uh, not focused? Or is there going to be now a change in that as well? Because we've not seen updates. Which, which seems to be a major concern with people nowadays. Like, and, and I've seen a lot of brands, including some Indian brands and a lot of, mostly all other brands, uh, focusing on providing quick software updates. So you'll see that Android KitKat being one of the latest uh, software updates is mostly available across the board and Micromax is still lagging. Yeah, we're, we're lagging a bit behind there, I completely agree. But now going forward for the roadmap which we've planned from July and onwards, you'll find automatic updates coming in. And that's, that's one of the key areas where service is also going to focus on because right. right now the infrastructure was a bit weak but going forward from July as soon as you see this entire program going we will have people with capabilities we'll have we'll have uh, people earmarked who whose only job in the service uh, you know team would be to ensure these updates happen and but happens even without blinking 
and add it or the customer asking for it. Okay, perfect. So, uh, what happens to the devices in the past? Are we going to see support for them as well? Yes. So, what we what we would encourage, you'll see a campaign out very soon in August, where in case uh, there are devices which which people need updates on, we will give them particular focus. You'll see a lot of service camps happening where free updates will be given. Uh, we don't expect the customer to come to us, but we'll try to be in strategic locations across cities where. All they do is, even if they walk across, it'll be a one-month campaign across the top 144 cities where people can easily come across and just give us their phone, give us half an hour of their time so that we can reflash them. That's brilliant. I think that'll work really well for you guys. I hope so, yeah. It's, it's worked in the past okay. with my previous brands, so I'm, I'm, I'm sure that this will work here as well. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's talk a little bit about social media. I mean, Micromax uh, has been uh, using social media. I mean, you're, a, you're the CMO. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, what, how important is social media for you guys? And why is it important to respond to people online? What, what's happening with the online system? I firmly believe in social media simply because of the fact of the changing times. I mean, today's, um, if you start looking at today's ecosystem, I mean, say even if it's five years back, people are still used to the traditional media and stuff around it. But lately with the audience, our, our teaching becoming much younger, the, uh, the whole population in the country being younger, I guess that's one uh, medium which you can't ignore. Despite internet penetration rates, I don't care about them less than 10% still. But again, their first experience is through a mobile phone. So the WAP or the M dot whatever site is important for them. And that's where the first hands-on experience happens. So therefore, for us, uh, social is a very important is a very important medium. And we, I firmly believe the fact that you really have to respond to them because once you don't respond to them, it can create a lot of negative chatter. And negative chatter, and, I mean. For me, no matter how much money you spend, advocacy is my best marketing medium. Okay. And if I don't advocate my own thing, or if, or if my consumers don't advocate, then it's of no use to me. Right. And that's that's where I firmly believe. So, in fact, all the campaigns last year, right from our brand campaigns to our CSR initiatives, which we did uh, with Cry, where Hugh Jackman was part of the Christmas campaign, which we did on the 25th of December, which was hashtag Can Give Happiness. We actually donated more than six and a half flags to, to Cry. And again, it was a very different. The amount of chatter, positive chatter created in the social media was brilliant. We didn't expect that. We were doing it more from from Hugh Jackman's point of view and our point of view because he wanted to give something back to society. And we said this there couldn't be a better way than Christmas. Right. So that was one. And, and two, the the advocacy which happens, say with reviews which you guys do online, makes so much of a difference. I mean, half the purchase is done online first, and then physically, then okay. either through that gateway if there one exists, or physically on the shop. So for me, social media is a no-brainer. It's, it's going to grow tremendously from from of a month to month. We've seen those changes. All our campaigns last year, out of the 11 big campaigns we did, we won four awards okay. and real good awards, right from the Canvas 4 design where we won a silver to our Canvas HD campaign to, to uh, hashtag can give happiness and then finally Canvas Turbo. So we've got, cam we've got, so it's given a loss of, lot of, this. earlier it was a point that, okay, fine, we don't have a measuring system so people don't know how, how is the money spent right, is it bad, is it there. But again, I don't believe in those. I believe a lot of them gut feel. When I see 100 people talking about it, that means my message has gone through. Right. And if my report shows me, you know, it's, it's reached out only 20 people, I don't know where, those, where the reports come from. Okay. And I do the same thing with traditional media. So I don't believe in TAM at all, but uh, I believe more in, if I advertise somewhere, if 10 people have SMS back to me saying, that, hey, I saw your spot on F1, and if you look at the TAM reports, it says F1 is like a 0 0.04 delivery. Now, 0 0.04 can't be 10, right? right? So therefore, so you have to really see what's the buzz around and, and there's no other better place than being online as well as being on mobile. Right, perfect. So let's go a little bit away from your work situation. Okay. Let's talk about the transition in terms of uh, what is it like to work in a place like Micromax? I mean, these are some of the usual questions we ask. And yeah. People really enjoy them. Yeah. So I've seen your previous office. It was a slightly smaller, actually a much smaller. Much building. smaller. Uh, it, was a, yeah. it was a single uh, tier building uh, around here. Yeah. But it was it was much smaller. Now you've come to the main road in yeah. Gurgaon, yeah. on the main road yeah. next to a very prominent building. Yeah. How what is the work experience like in a place like Micromax? I mean, transitioning from that to this and now today where you guys sit, has it changed uh, from being a humble work environment to being a slightly more uh, difficult work environment? In fact, uh, when when I was speaking to Rahul way back in October 2012, this is the first thing I said because. If you really want to change the brand perception, we really need to be visible as far as our office is concerned. And give me a great excuse because of the fact that when I joined, you know, when I had to meet the service guys, I had to go to Narayana. When I had to meet the quality guys, I had to go somewhere in Oakland, thereabouts, right? So people were scattered in three different parts of the city and not being under. But common sense says everybody under one roof makes more sense. Right. So I took that as, a, as an advantage to, to change the perceptions of, of the founders. And way back in January 2013, 
is, is when they signed on. They are, so that's the beauty of these founders. Being um, young and dynamic is, is, is great, but to be young, dynamic, and full of action also makes a lot of difference. Yeah. And the nimble-footedness I think we have in our organization, that makes a lot of difference. Mm -hmm. And they agreed to it. And, and I'm not supposed to do that. I mean, the HR guy is supposed to do that stuff. Right. But I somehow felt the need of, of being part of the brand, no matter if I have to even have to pick up that piece of paper and move it there, move that signboard from here to there, I'll do it myself, I'll roll up my sleeve. That's what, that's, that's what I believe in, that's why I believe in brands. I've worked in the past. I've slept in cars all night to figure out what's going to happen next. And so, so I'm not saying that I'm a worst to if, if something needs to, if all of us are convinced that this brand can, can, can go somewhere and if I'm part of that journey, then I'll put my fullest to it, otherwise I'm not bothered. I'm not, I'm not looking at the watch by saying, oh, it's 10 o'clock, time to go to office, 7 o'clock, time to go back home. No, there's no point doing that. The day you start doing that, there's no point, you lost the plot. The, the days I jump out of bed to work is when I'm still alive and kicking. That's when that drill and rush happens. So when we all moved here in March 2013, right. the whole environment changed in the office. Everybody was charged up for the brand and that made a lot of difference because suddenly they had a great workplace, they had a you know, conducive working environment, cafeteria, lunch subsidized, parking, uh, you know, a lot of parking around this. So when the basic conduce environment was conducive enough, I mean, obviously the results were positive. So I, I saw that you were avoiding talking about the gym. Oh, talk. yes. Oh, yes. We, we've, got, we've got a great gym. Sorry, sorry, but sorry. It's never like functional. Nobody's there. All of us, all of us are, in the, in the, are there in the evening and or somewhere. That's evening come back in the evening. Yeah. In <laughs> fact, uh, the gym is, the gym, we have a damn good gym. We've got a pool table, we've got TV. Everything's there. So I, I guess, I, I mean, I'm a good you pointed out something. I don't know what's in the office. <laughs> yeah. But so there's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff which we do. And, and again, at the end of the day, it's, it's, and all of us firmly believe the fact that if you don't have it in you, then there's, there's no point working in Micromax. If you have that blood, if you have that little belief that yes, we can be the first Indian hardware brand to go global, then you're most welcome in this organization. If you're not, then move on. I mean, at the end of the day, we can't force people to work or do things around it. Right. So, so I guess at least this floor, the first floor, which is sales and marketing, which is the most, once one says the cash cow, the other says you spend money, but the way we gel is very different. It's much better and, and timelines are, are actually crunched. Okay, good. Uh, for uh, a brand like Micromax, uh, is a dif different story. But for you, you're the CMO. And if somebody who's watching this show right now says that, okay, how do I get from being in college or being in a startup job situation, how do I get from here to where you are? What's your one message to them? Work hard, party hard. In fact, ensure uh, you don't mind rolling up your sleeve or losing a sleep to get to what you want to do. And that's my only message to you guys. I mean, till when you start thinking that by sitting in an ivory castle, you're going to get all your data points and then do what the rest of the big boys do, forget it. You got to roll up your sleeve, go to the market, figure out what you want, and then ensure. Uh, and, and wait for it. I mean, don't be impulsive. I, I spent 11 years, 4 months, and 17 days in Samsung. I spent 5 years and 3 months with HP. I spent 1 year and 4 months with ABN Ambro. And 2 years and 3 months with Blick on Aircell. I've spent 19 months and 24 days as of now. All I'm saying is be consistent with what you do, have that belief and have a little gut in you which says, this brand might change and do something for me. You sound much older now, Shubhav, just after you gave us all those numbers. I did? <laughs> <laughs> I do, I do, I do, yeah. In, case, in fact, yeah, I'm, yeah I've, been, I've been working pretty hard, so in, I've, never, I've never got the easy way. Uh, and um, I always believed, and in fact, yeah, now to think about it, most of my jobs so far have always been to build a brand, right from Samsung and way back in 1996, I was employee number 9009 was my number there. Uh, and then to Aben Ambro who wanted to move away from commercial banking to consumer banking. Right. HP from being a B2B company to a B2C, so they, I was the head of consumer marketing there. And then Blick on S, which was my first venture. When you quit uh, AB and Amro, they shut down, isn't it? No, they didn't. They shut down a year later. <laughs> so maybe because you left, they shut down. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> yeah, they, they sold the business off to the yeah, RBS, okay. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot. It Thank you, bud. Thanks for having me. Talking to you. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll do this soon. Yeah? Sure. Thank and you. consumers don't worry, always buy the Micromax phones. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thank you.